What's up guys, Corey here, and tonight I was in a very exploitation style mood and I was checking out 1990, The Bronx Warriors, one of my favorite exploitation style movies uh, directed by Enzo G. Castellari, which is one of Quentin Tarantino's favorite directors and hooking up with Enzo was the reason Quentin got the inspiration to do Inglorious Bastards because Enzo actually did the original Inglorious Bastards. This obviously draws inspiration from classics such as The Warriors and Australia's Mad Max and The Road Warrior. Uh, it's just a big mix of all those. It's got biker gangs, it's got crooked cops, it's got extreme violence. Everything an Italian action movie should have and it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, Italians, including Enzo Castellari, just had a great vision of cinematography. They had great shots great scores, great music, everything. It's just uh, one of the more fun movies that I like to watch. This is actually one of three of Enzo's warrior style collection, uh, being 1990 The Bronx Warriors, Escape from the Bronx, and Warriors of the Wasteland, which all are from that post-apocalyptic style of Italian action filmmaking, which is just absolutely amazing to watch. Some of the more notable stars of the film are George Eastman from Anthropophagus and Absurd Fame. He was also in a few of Enzo's other post-apocalyptic style movies. Uh, also, Fred the Hammer Williamson, who is a huge staple in the black exploitation era of filming, and also Vic Morrow, who is notably, uh, you know, most famous for accidentally being killed in a helicopter scene from Twilight Zone the movie. Uh, anyways, if you guys haven't seen this, definitely go check it out. Uh, one of my favorite cult style movies. Uh, anything Enzo G. Castellari has done is just absolutely amazing. Uh, like I said before, the original Inglorious Bastards is an awesome movie as well. So any comments about this or any of these movies or Enzo G. Castellari, anybody, uh, comment down below and let's talk about it. Have a good day.